Oh, we're walking here from AndroidandTech.com and in this video we're going to be taking a look at QuickPick. QuickPick is like a gallery application but um, a lot more enhanced, uh, more features and more stuff you can actually do with the gallery application. So this is what it looks like. It pulls in all your pictures um, that you have installed in your phone and your SD card and also it pulls in some album pictures as well. Which is, I really don't want it to pull in some of my album pictures. Um, I think you could turn it off somewhere in the settings. Um, let's go back. Go to camera. Let's take a look at some of these pictures that I've taken. You can see it displays it. You could zoom in, pinch the zoom. It looks very, very nice. And it's fast and it's responsive as well. You could scroll across the cookies I made and all of that good stuff. So you can see um, straight from the picture, you can delete it, share it, and you have the zoom buttons down here. And also, another quick thing I wanted to show you this is how like the pictures are laid out. Scroll um, up and down to view all your pictures. And if you go into settings, you can actually customize it up. And the great thing about this application is you can hide certain photos that you don't want, um, say for example, other people to see. You could easily hide them and you could also put a password on them as well. So if you have private pictures that you don't want anybody to see, you can do that um, just by going down here. And you can protect all the hidden folders, enter your password and set all of that up. So that's good. And also if you don't really like how it's um, looked, you could enable the light theme, the light background theme. Which kind of spices up a bit and kind of makes it look a lot brighter and a lot better. And you can actually see how the pictures are organized. They're kind of stacked up one behind the other. It has this nice kind of effect and a nice look to it. Um, anyway, that's just this is just a quick look at a uh, quick pick. This is free from Google Play. It looks lovely. Go check it out. This application we're taking a look at is Catch. Um, Catch is uh, an application where you take kind of notes. Um, you got this kind of nice uh, interface, very clean. Um, you got all your notes at the top, my ideas. So if you go into notes, it displays your notes. And if you wanted to set up a new note, you have this plus sign at the bottom. All you have to do is put your finger on it and kind of drag up um, and select which one you want. So if you wanted to set an alarm or a reminder, um, you can set one for whatever date you want. You select the date, uh, let's say 23rd. At that time to sleep that's just anything and you can set it up and it automatically sets the reminder for um, that time and all of that good stuff you can select a um, photo you can just take a normal note saying hello and you could add that in and you could also take a, a use um, kind of like a voice search not voice search, voice recording uh, note so like right now it's recording my voice and the playback is pretty good as well it's, um, it's, it's not distorted or anything the playback is very um, clear once you're done you click done and you could also have like a checklist so say for example you go into a supermarket oops shopping you could add one in put eggs not ticket but milk and it automatically kind of um, adds a new one as it goes down so this is a great like if you're going shopping for something and you don't want to forget anything you can make a big list of it and kind of go back into the application and just tick it off and then it kind of crosses it out once you have the um, whatever you need and you click done and that's about it very very simple to use and when you go back to the main page it kind of has all your ideas and all your notes into one you can create a new space so you can have this is my ideas you could have anything else called uh, shopping, uh, milk or you know have different kind of categories for your different ideas so and it's great if you just want to kind of organize your ideas and um, stuff so definitely go pick this one up it's free from Google Play. The next application we're taking a look at is Agent Dash. Agent Dash is kind of like a running up a kind of like Temple Run if you ever played that before very similar and um, you kind of swipe across the screen to move left and right you could jump you could power slide um, it's got different environments. This is kind of like a jungle environment, but as you progress, you do kind of uh, merge into different environments, which is kind of nice. And you do collect these diamonds as you're running along. And you can jump, do all of that good stuff. You have to try and avoid obstacles and be as quick as you can. Just basically see how fast your reactions are. And that was a fail. So you can see, it has your distance, diamond collected, and everything. So. Let's just go a little bit more, show you a bit more of the gameplay and it keeps the score up there as well and how much um, damage you collected. But anyway, you kind of get the general idea, it's kind of like Temple Run but for a bit of a twist, 
and you know new environments and a new character I kind of bumped up graphics as well the graphics do look really nice but anyway I'm not that good at the game you know try it out for yourself and see what kind of score you could get you can pick this one up free from Google Play. The next application we're taking a look at is Courier. Um, this is an application where you could ask questions or search for any questions that you want. Um, it's just like normal common questions. These are some of the recently added uh, questions. Uh, questions like why is the why is London's tube always uncomfortable and hot compared to other large cities subways. So you know and you could tap on it and you could view uh, people's you can leave comments on there answering your question so if you have a question on here that hasn't been answered before you could add it to it and someone will eventually answer and you get an answer to your question if you want to ask questions you just go tap here and you tap in anything you want like uh, who is uh, Queen of England uh, I spelled that wrong let me just quickly change this to a Q. And we just tap here. Suggestion comes up automatically and then it has your answers here. And the great thing about this, other people can leave um, their answers there to what the answer is. And you could also add your own answers as well. So if you think you might want to add some information to the question, you could easily do that. Like I said, you could search multiple questions. And if you just go back to the main page, you do have top stories and you have the most recent ones as well. So it's definitely a good application if you want to, if you have a question that you can't really find an answer to, definitely check this one application out. You can pick this one up free from Google Play. The next application we're taking a look at is Pinball Pro. Um, this is a pinball application, but uh, these are all the different maps you could get. Let's just enter one, for example. Let's enter you. And you can see the graphics are clean they are sharp and it does work pretty well so you just tap on the left and the right um, side of the screen to tap the flickers and you in different maps you could get like flippers located in different uh, locations and you do have your score at the top and you just have to try and get as much score uh, points as you can but the game itself although graphics are nice the game is good I just think they need to add more stuff into their map like just to make it a bit more fun, more like holes it could go in more, make it more interactive like other pinball games that I've seen on the marketplace. To me it just looks a bit plain, there's not much features, you more or less just hitting it up against the side and just racking in the points. Then you just need to add like a few more stuff to it, make it a bit more interactive. And this is just one of the maps, if you go back to the main menu, there are different maps that you could play that have different kind of things. But most of them are pretty simple applications, they don't really add too much to it. But anyway, if you're interested in it, you want to give this a try, definitely go check this one out. It's completely free and you can pick this up from Google Play. And the last thing we're taking a look at is a live wallpaper. So we're just going to get that loaded up. The live wallpaper we're going to be taking a look at is... Where is it? Plasma Disk 3. Live wallpaper. And essentially what it does is kind of like... If you, if you remember one of those pl plasma globe things that you touch it and it kind of... The electricity kind of follows your finger as you're going around the screen. That's essentially what it is. And it works pretty well. As you can see, as you're kind of scrolling across, it kind of, the electricity kind of follows your finger. And it's really um, nice as well. I think there's some settings that you could go into and change the color. Let me just show you. Go into settings. You could change the bolt um, density. You could change the speed of it, you could change the bolt style, you could change the color. But uh, most of these features, if you want to get access to these features, you need, do need to buy the full version to get access to it. But, you know, overall, um, it works pretty well. If you just want to try it out, it looks really good. And um, yeah, you can pick this one up free from Google, um, Google Play. And if you want the additional features, you need to pay for it. But anyway, that's about it for the video. Don't forget to leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. Um, also recommend me some applications for the next video. And also give the video a thumbs up and thanks for watching. Peace.